Hi, this is Munson with Munson Music, and we're going to talk about how you could play a song called You and I by One Direction. And we're going to end up capoing this on first fret, but we're going to start out on an F major chord. We'll talk about a really easy way to play this, but if you know the bar F major, you do your first finger across the entire first fret, second finger on the G string, second fret, third finger on the A string on the third fret, and the pinky on the D string on the third fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds an F major chord, and it sounds really, really happy. Now, a good substitute for that, though, if you want to avoid the bar chords, is something called F major 7. When you play F major 7, first finger goes to the B on the first fret, second finger on the G string, second fret, and third finger on the D string on the third fret. And if you strum the D string to the high E string, that sounds like an F major chord and sounds really happy. And then from the F major 7, we're going to be going to a G major chord. When you play G major, first finger goes to the A on the second fret, second finger on the low E string on the third fret, and third finger on the high E on the third fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds a G major chord, and it sounds really, really happy. And then from the G, we're going to go to an A minor chord. When we play A minor, first finger goes to the B string on the first fret, second finger on the D string, second fret, and third finger on the G string, second fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds an A minor chord, and it sounds really, really sad. And then from the A minor, we're going to go to a C major chord. And all you really have to do is take the third finger from the G string, second fret, and then go to the A string on the third fret. And if you strum the A string or the high E string, that sounds a C major chord, and it sounds really, really happy. And then from the C, we go back to our F major chord. Now, you may want to work that with kind of downs, kind of an F, G, A minor, C, F. Or, a lot of times with a song like this, to make it more interesting, I like adding something called a strum pattern. And one of my favorite strum patterns for a 4-4 like this is down, down, up, up, down, up. So if you took the F and just tried that a lot, you'd have down. that is the F and the G kind of have that pattern. So on the F and G, you may want to do kind of a down, down, and then hit the G for your up, up, down, up, and then do your whole pattern for the A minor, and then your whole pattern for the C, and then your whole pattern for the F. So a little weird there. But F, down, down, G on the up, up, down, A minor, down, down, up, up, down, up, C, down, up, up, down, up, F, down, up, up, down, up. Now that's rhythmically how it works out. What you really kind of hear in the recording is kind of the F with kind of a down, down, up, G with a down, down, up, and then A minor with kind of a long down, 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 up, C with a long down, 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 F with a long down, down, down. But you may want to kind of, kind of, kind of, kind of between those two patterns to kind of depend on how you're thinking about approaching the team. And then we'll basically be repeating that until we get to kind of our verse part. On our verse, we start on G major. Another way you may want to play your G major is if you put the third finger on the B string third fret, pinky on the high E string on the third fret. So you want to kind of think about using that G, especially through this part. And then from the G on our verses, we're going to go to a D major chord. When we play D major, first finger goes to the G on the second fret, second finger on the high E second fret, third finger on the B string on the third fret. And if you strum the D string to the high E string, that sounds a D major chord. It sounds really, really happy. It's kind of a quick hit to the D. And you kind of hear the bass going to the second fret on the low E string on that change, and that's an F sharp note. So you could even kind of put those together in kind of a cool way by doing first finger on the low E string, second fret, second finger on the G string, second fret, third finger on the B string, third fret, and the pinky on the high E string, third fret. There's something called D sus slash F sharp, which can be cool between that G to that D change, which leads us into an E minor chord. And when you play E minor, first finger goes to the A on the second fret. Second finger on the D string, second fret. And if you strum all those together, it sounds like an E minor chord. Now on the E minor, you can also take the third finger and add them in on the B string, third fret, pinky on the high E string, third fret. And that sounds like an E minor chord. It sounds really, really sad, or E minor 7. Which is really hip. And then from there, we go to a C major chord, but you may want to think about playing a C major 9, where you do your first finger on the D string, second fret, second finger on the A string, third fret, and if you strum the A string and the high E string, that sounds a C major 9 chord. It sounds really happy, so you might want to think about the C through the verses too. Now if we're going to do that with our down, down, up, up, down, up, the G and the D would kind of half. So you just do the down, down, up on each of those chords. So you have our G down.
down, 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 which feels a little bit more like the tune. On that G D change, you can do a down, down on each of those chords. So you have G. pre-chorus we do our E minor and D and then a C. And you may want to kind of think about just doing that with downs or if you wanted to fill it in with the strum pattern you could do kind of a down, down, up, down, down up on the D and then C with the whole pattern. Or you could use kind of that long down or the down, down up on the E minor D. E minor D and then kind of save your long down, down, down up for the last C. So we want to kind of play around with that. And then from there then we go into our main chorus. And our main chorus starts with kind of that F and G half A, and then we go to A minor, and then we go to C, and then we go to F, and then we go to the E minor chord, and then we go back to the F, and then we go back to the G major. So we tried that, and the weird part is that F and G kind of half like the beginning. So we tried it with down, down, up, up, down, up. You'd have F with down, down, G on the up, up, down, A minor, down. along with one direction though instead of starting on an F chord they're starting on a G flat major chord so to play along with the recording what you want to do is take a capo and if you put the capo on first fret then now your F is really an F sharp or a G flat major and your G is really an A flat major your A minor is really a B flat minor and your C is really a D flat major and when we get to it the D major is really an E flat major and your E minor is really an F sharp minor or an F minor but to take it from the very beginning, you could kind of work that with the down, down, up, up, down, up, and have F down, down, G on the up, up, down, 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 up, so we try that with down, down, up, up, down, up, and have G down, up, up, down, up, G down, up, up, down, up, G down, up, up, down, up, G down, up, slash F sharp, E minor, E minor, C, C. Or you can try that with the long down, 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 up, and have G. into our chorus part. So we tried our chorus with a down, down, up, up, down, up, kind of half in that F and G. We'd have F, down, G on the up, up, down, up, A minor, down, up, up, down, up, C, down, up, up, down, up, F, down, up, up, down, up, D minor, down, up, up, down, up, F, down, up, up, down, up, G, down, up, up, down, up. Or if we try it with, with kind of our long down, 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 up, we'd have F, G, A minor, Piece of our intro. Now, something else I think about adding to the song though is bass notes. And a lot of times on that first down of the down, down, up, up, down, up, or the long down, 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 up, or the down, down, up in some cases, you can throw in a bass for the chord. So on the F, on the F major 7, you have the D for the bass. On the bar F, you have the low E for the bass. On the G, you'd have the low E for the bass. On the A minor, you'd have the A for the bass. On the C, you'd have the A for the bass. On the E minor, we'd have the low E for the bass. Slash F sharp, you'd have low E for the bass. And on the G, you'd have the low E string for the bass. So we turn that little piece of the intro with the bass down, up, up, down, up, 
We have F with the bass down, as you know. Down, 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 up. We have F, G, with the bass, A harmony the bass, C with the A bass, F with the bass, down, 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 F, G, A minor. Or you might want to do so. <laughs> C, F. And then from there, then we'll be going into our, our next verse part. So we try that with a bass down, up, up, down, up. We have G with the bass. Try that with a bass down, up, up, down, up. We'd have F with the bass down, down, up, up, down, up. Here the A bass down, up, down, C with the A bass down, up, down, F the bass down, up, down, C with the A bass down, up, down, bass down, up, down, C with the A bass down, up, down, up. We try that with kind of the bass down, down, up. We'd have an F, G, A minor, C with the A bass. Into our, our outro solo kind of kind of chorus, um, and on that part actually we start out with kind of, kind of our whole chorus form, and then at the end it kind of gets abbreviated a little bit. So if we kept that going, we have F, F, F G, E minor, C, F, E minor, F, G, F, G, E minor, C. So we got kind of F, G, A minor, C, A bass, F, the bass, and we got F, G, A minor, C, F, F, G, A minor, C, F, F, G, E minor, C, F. Now if you know other licks around these chords, That's the basics of how you can strum through you and I by One Direction. So, good luck!